I'm Melanie DeLima. Our top story tonight comes from Auburn, Alabama, where our own Allie Crewman is at Jordan Hare Stadium, where the Tigers caped off this year's Iron Bowl in a dramatic fashion. Allie, what can you tell us? Well, Melanie, like you said, it was a very dramatic bowl, uh, game. This was the 78th Iron Bowl. Alabama came in here undefeated, number one in basically every single poll. Auburn did have one loss on the season. They were fourth in most of the polls. Now, there's more riding on this game than usual. The winner of this game did go on or will go on to the SEC Championship. Now, the past four Iron Bowls, the winner of those have moved on to the BCS Championship. So now let's look at what happened exactly in the last play of the game. Alabama and Auburn are tied at 28th in the fourth quarter. And Adam, or Adam, Griffith, excuse me, lines up to hit the field goal, but he misses. And Auburn's running back, Chris Davis, snags the ball and runs it back for 100 yards, giving uh, Auburn the win as time expires. So this was a huge game as Auburn did play it at home. Huge fan reactions. Now, with a look at the facts, the Tigers went 3 and 9 last season. Alabama outscored them 91 to 14 in the past two Iron Bowls. This was Alabama's quarterback, AJ McCarron's first road loss as a starter. Adam Griffith, the kicker that did miss that field goal, he was replacing Cade Foster. Cade missed three field goals earlier in that game Griffith was just one and two on the season with his longest field um, goal being 20 yards now where does um, now no one could expect this to happen they, people have been dubbing this as a kick six instead of a pick six interception Melanie that sounds like a pretty big celebration to me Allie now where does this win put Auburn for the playoff contention now this does put Auburn into the SEC championship game. We do not know who they will play yet, but that winner of the game will most likely go on to play in the BCS championship game. Auburn's athletic director Jake Jacobs did say it would be the service to football if Auburn was left out of the BCS championship game because of that one SEC loss and was replaced with Ohio State. But it is not known who Auburn will play in the SEC championship game just yet. We just know they will be heading to Atlanta on December 7th to face them. Uh, Running live from Jordan Hare Stadium, I'm Allie Crewman for IC Sport Watch. All right, thank you so much, Ali. Coming up next, we'll have our analysts in studio talking which top Heisman picks you need to watch out for that. All that and more coming up on IC Sports Watch. Welcome to IC Sports Watch. I'm Melanie DeLima. Our top story tonight comes from Auburn, Alabama, where our own Allie Crewman is at Jordan Hare Stadium, where the Tigers capped off this year's Iron Ball in a dramatic fashion. Now, Allie, what can you tell us? Thanks, Melanie. That absolutely is right. Alabama walked into this Iron Bowl undefeated, number one in most coaches' polls. Now, Auburn walked in with one SEC loss. There was a lot more riding on this Iron Bowl as uh, usual. The winner of this game would move on to the SEC championship, and the winner of that game would hopefully move on to the BCS championship. Now, in the past four Iron Bowls, the winner of those games would move on to the championship game. Now, if you take a look at that last play that put Auburn on the leaderboard, um, Adam Griffith of Alabama tries to hit the field goal to win the game, but for Auburn, um, running back Cade Foster takes the ball and runs it all the way back for 100 yards to win the game for Auburn. Now this um, did put Auburn, uh, Auburn was a huge win for Auburn. They won, they went uh, three and nine last season. Alabama outscored them 91 to 14 the past two Iron Bowls. This was AJ McCarron's first road loss as a starter. Now Adam Griffith, that kicker that kicked, missed that field goal, was replacing Cade Foster. Cade missed three other field goals within that game. Now, Griffith was just one and two on the season. His longest field goal was 20 yards. Now, this does put Auburn in great playoff contention. Melanie? That sounds like a pretty big celebration to me, Allie. Now, where does this win put Auburn for the playoff contention? Now, this win would put Auburn in the SEC Championship. We do not know who they will play just yet, but the winner of that game will most likely go on to the BCS Championship. Now, Auburn's athletic director, Jay Jacobs, say, did say that it would be a disservice to football if Auburn was left out of the championship game because they, of that one SEC loss. Now, we do not know who they will play, but we do know that Auburn will be heading on December 7th to the Georgia Dome to face whoever the SEC, other SEC team playing in the championship will be. From Jordan Hare Stadium, I'm Allie Kerman for IC Sport Watch. Well, thank you so much, Allie. Coming up next, we'll have our analysts in the studio talking which top Heisman picks you need to watch out for. All that and more coming up on IC Sports Watch.
Welcome to IC Sports Watch. I'm Melanie DeLima. Our top story tonight comes from Auburn, Alabama, where our own Allie Crewman is at Jordan Hare Stadium, where the Tigers capped off this year's Iron Bowl in a dramatic fashion. Now, Allie, what can you tell us? Melanie, you were definitely right. The Auburn Tigers did capture this 78th Iron Bowl in a dramatic fashion. They came into this game with one SEC loss while Alabama walked into the Jordan Hare Stadium undefeated, number one in all po uh, polls, AP coaches, and the BCS poll. In the past four Iron Bowl championships, the winner of that would move on to the SEC championship. Now, there's a lot more riding on this um, game because the winner would move on to the SEC, SEC championship. Now, if you look at the last play that did put Auburn above Alabama, uh, Adam Griffith, Alabama's kicker, did try to kick the field goal 50 yards back to win as time expired, but um, Cade Foster of Auburn snagged that ball and ran it back 100 yards to put Auburn on the board past Alabama. Now, AJ, this would be A.J. McCarron's uh, first loss as a starter for Alabama. Now, Adam Griffith, that kicker, did replace Cade Foster, who missed three field goals earlier in that game. Now, Griffith was just one and two. His longest field goal completion was only 20 yards. Now, people have started dubbing this a kick six instead of a pick six interception. But uh, nonetheless, Auburn fans are very excited here for that win. Well, that sounds like a pretty big celebration to me, Allie. Now, where does this win put Auburn for the playoff contention? That's right. Uh, this uh, this win puts Auburn in the SEC championship game. We do not know who they will play yet, but most likely they will then move on to the BCS championship game if they can win that uh, conference championship. Auburn's athletic director did say, though, it would be a disservice to football if Auburn was left out of the BCS championship game because of that one SEC loss earlier in the season and instead was replaced with Ohio State. But However, we do not know where they'll be going after the SEC championship game. We do not know who they will be playing, but we do know that they will be heading to the Georgia Dome on December 7th. Reporting live from Jordan Hare Stadium. I'm Allie Crewman for IC Sport Watch. Well, thank you so much, Allie. Coming up next, we'll have our analysts in the studio talking which top Heisman picks you need to watch out for. All that and more coming up on IC Sports Watch. Yes.